Welcome back to The Morning Show. Catherine Eisman has interviewed everyone from Dolly Parton and Jennifer Aniston to Reese Witherspoon and Matthew McConaughey. The two-time Emmy-nominated showbiz correspondent has become a red carpet regular, giving us the lowdown of everything happening over there in La La Land. When she's not busy schmoozing with Hollywood heavyweights, the journalist and author is working on her side hustle, Sock Business. <laughs> but now Catherine, along with her advertising executive hubby Simon Reynolds and daughters Capri and Monet are all in lockdown but finding ways to enjoy the change of pace. And Catherine Eisman, Simon Reynolds and the family join us uh, from the US of A. Usually you're in LA, but you've moved during ISO. Yes, we've decided we have literally nothing keeping us in LA at the moment. And it's, you know, West Hollywood, where we're from, is kind of almost kind of ground zero in terms of the outbreak in California. So we've moved out to Palm Springs because there's no school, my shoots are done like this, and Simon does all his coaching. Anywhere. Um, so it may as well be Palm Springs by the pool. <laughs> yeah. Simon, thank you for putting a blazer and a crispy white shirt on for us today. Yes. <laughs> it's good to well, see. I'm not wearing any pants, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're hearing that a lot. Uh, how, how, are you, how are you coping over there, locked in like that? Uh, I am very lucky that my business is coaching people via Skype. So it's barely changed at all. If I had a bricks and mortar business, you know, it'd, it'd be really tough. But day to day, other than having to do 10,000 kids meals, it's pretty similar. <laughs> Catherine, we're so used to seeing you running around LA interviewing big name celebs. Um, how's the change of pace been for you? Oh my gosh, it's it's almost like being put in a tele, teleported back, you know, 30 years. Um, because I've gone from, you know, red carpets to having a two-year-old and a six-year-old, so the red carpet is them spilling paint on the floor and me cleaning that up. <laughs> I'm cooking 12,000 meals per day, I swear. Kids are eating much more in lockdown. And it's just very, um, <laughs> it's just a totally different, I mean, it's it's unimaginable. I mean, there have been no no schools where I've been homeschooling since March 11, and, and it's not going to go back until end of August, if not mm. later. So it's... And now it's May, and then back there is August. That's how long coronavirus was. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Now, Catherine, Hollywood is at a complete standstill. We just spoke to the TMZ boss, Harvey mm -hmm. Levin, who's saying the industry, your industry over there, is going to change forever after this. What's, what's the feeling you're getting? Yeah, I think from in the beginning, it was kind of people holding their breath to see what would happen. I think now it's just expedited what's happened, what was happening naturally, which was people were going to cinema less and kind of streaming things at home. And I think that's just going to be... Um, you know, ex, uh, extremely sped up. So people, even when they do open movie theaters, who really wants to go, especially when, you know, with the fear of that. And a lot of productions have obviously been uh, canceled and things are just going to go straight to, to DVD, so to speak. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, red carpets, forget about it. Junkets, which I do a lot of interviews, is a kind of a petri dish of disease for journalists all over the world coming together. So no, it's going to be changed forever. It really will be. Simon, you first came to fame during the AIDS epidemic where you were the mastermind behind the Grim Reaper ad. Well, I'd love to hear your take now on the pandemic and COVID-19 and, and the way you know, the story is being messaged. What's your, what's your take on all of this? Well, I think overall they've been a, a effective in Australia uh, and handling it. But I think it was, uh, they were weeks late. You know, if they'd done a quick advertising campaign, educating people and also warning them that it's really serious, I think, you know, they would have had a lot of lives saved. I, you know, Australia's saved by the fact it's an island and, and it's got a responsible uh, population. But yeah, I think they should have done a hardcore ad campaign in the first few weeks. And you're talking about here or in the USA, like what, what, I mean, we're seeing those horrific numbers in the USA at the moment. So what would be, you know, what's your take on that? Well, there's still unbelievable lack of knowledge uh, amongst the general population about the virus and about the, the, the best strategies for it. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's such a big country. Mm. It's, yeah, unless they did a wide... Uh, across all networks uh, campaign, you know, it's very hard to educate uh, uh, this many people on what to do. Yeah. Um, Catherine, I suppose the one good thing about this pandemic is that everyone still needs socks. Uh, <laughs> so, and you got this little side hustle going on, a little sock business. Tell us about that. Who knew 
you that the one silver lining would be that people have stopped wearing shoes because no one leaves their house and that they just live in socks 24 seven. So yeah, High Heel Jungle is the name of my sock company and it has been going extremely well, which has been um, such a blessing. Um, certainly when a lot of other things have slowed down, it's exciting to have that as everyone's trying to keep working and still earn a living. Um, but the sock company, you know, it's, we just got picked up by Nordstrom, which is extremely exciting. We were talking with them before the pandemic. It was briefly put on hold and I was worried that it would, that deal would have gone away, but now it's back on, which is exciting. And we're at free people. Uh, Whitney Portwall posted wearing the socks this morning, which was fun. So people are living in socks. So high hill jungle. Yeah you know in in which is very exciting fantastic well so lovely to see your smiling faces uh capri yeah. in, enjoy the homeschooling <laughs> yeah you're are doing you... <laughs> yeah are you and uh and enjoy that life in palm springs all the pink flamingos it looks amazing very cool all we do is talk to pink flamingos there are no <laughs> other <laughs> lovely to talk to you thanks Catherine. thank you simon bye capri Bye. Thanks, guys. Great to see you. And we will be back right after this.